You're watching Tree EM for Kids, a Cartoon Network dedicated to bringing you content that seeks to transform lives and prepare kids like me to be followers of Jesus. So, subscribe to our channel, share this with someone, and stay tuned for more fun as we learn about the Bible. Bye! Okay everyone, it's time to leave. Show's over. Foxy! Foxy! Where are you? Hi! I didn't see you there. I'm Rover. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. I'm waiting for my friend, Foxy. Have you seen her? We were supposed to meet up here. She has to teach me about the Bible. Would you like to join us? Okay, great! Hey, Rover. There you are! Sorry if I had you waiting. It's okay. By the way, I brought a friend. Are you ready for a Bible study? You are? Okay, great! Do you know what exactly is the Bible? It's that book you take when you go to church, isn't it? Uh... Okay... Well, it's actually more than just a book you take to church. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. What does that mean? It means that the Bible is the expressed word of God himself. And it was written for us. Oh, I got it! You're saying that God wrote the Bible, then gave it to mankind. Not quite. Huh? But you just said that the Bible was inspired by God. So that should mean that God wrote the Bible. Am I missing something? No, Rover. God didn't literally write the Bible. He inspired others to understand what he would want them to write. In the book of Job, chapter 32, verse 8 says, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Therefore, as God gave them understanding, these biblical writers wrote what they were shown. Oh, I bought it now. Yeah. The Bible also has 66 books. Wait, what? How could one Bible... Be 66 books! Well, the Bible is a collection of various writings or books, beginning from Genesis and ending with Revelation. All these writings make up what we know today as the Bible. Hmm. I wonder why did God inspire the Bible? Well, Rover, that's an easy question. John chapter 20, verse 21 says, but these are written that we might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have a life through his name. So, in a nutshell, the Bible points out how mankind can be redeemed, and that is through Jesus. Wow, amazing! Oh, by the way, who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son of God. The one who came and died for all of humanity. Maybe next time we'll do a study about Jesus. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, great. Next time it is. Hey. Is someone there? Someone's coming. You've got to go now. It was nice meeting you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.